Uh, so we're gonna try to go down to this one since I'm just already on my way there. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's about all I could say. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be blocked off again or anything. Alright, do I even... I was gonna say, do I even have a shield? I don't think I have a shield yet. No, I don't. Alright. I don't need a shield. I got a sword, man. That's all I need. I just need a good old sword on my side. And then, and then we're good. Glad I missed that, I guess. So, is this... I assume this is going toward the Tower of Hera. I could be wrong, but that is my assumption. And you're dead. Sweet. I will take this. What? Oh, it's more monster guts. I don't know what the purpose of that is. What are the monster guts for? Whatever. Okay, I can't go in the water yet. At least last I tried, I was not able... Oh, this is grass. I can just kill it. Okay, I'm like, these are weird shaped rocks. Um... Ow. What was I saying? Can't go in the water, right. So, I'm gonna not do that. And we'll just go around. Until we find something, or decide that there's nothing. And then we'll be good. Ow! But it's like, see, there's, there's all this. But we just must not have the right item yet, because, uh, you know, clearly we tried to go in the water and we just kinda... We didn't die, but we got hurt. What is that? I want that thing. I want it. All right. But I can't get it because I can't swim yet. Dang it. Is it a bottle? It looks like a bottle with a note in it or something. Anyway, that's okay. We'll get it at some point. I assume. Maybe it's actually not mandatory, but I like to think that we'll get it at some point. I just don't want to get anyone's hopes up, I guess. Like, what if it is bonus and it's awesome, but I forget or something like that? Alright, really quick, I'll check up here, and then I'll go in that cave. Wow, that was great! Let's go in the cave now! That was fantastic. Okay, we're in the cave. Cave of wonders and fire. Yup. I don't think I could get through this part. Or through the fire. You know what? Screw it! We're gonna try to run into the fire because, like, what if it was like, Oh, you just have to have faith! No, you don't have to have faith. You can't go through it. It's fire. But, that would suck if I didn't go through and it was just one of those things. And then I missed it forever. Do I need to go, like, back to Ravio's and get another item that's required? Like, do I need bombs now or something? When I say Ravio's, I mean my house. Uh, but, uh, I have to do all this walking again. Alright. All right, whatever. We'll do we'll do some walking. Like, when has walking ever hurt anyone unless you run into these freaking fast crab things? And also screw you, because you're shocky and I don't like it. I don't know why he has a little post there. If I get a hammer, maybe I hammer that down? I don't know. You're the like-like. Let's get rid of you. I don't know if it has a different name because it's a lure one. Whatever, it's like the same thing. Wait, did I not... Did I just miss this cave before? I did, but probably for good reason. Okay, I need my torch. Wait, no, don't merge! I need my torch. That's this one, and then Y, and Y! Just rupees? Was that, was that just an extra thing? Pretty much. Yep, you got purple ruby, 50 rupees, that's pretty nice. Uh, I tried to light you on fire, didn't work. I don't even know what you guys are. I could not tell. Well, that seems like that was it. I don't see any cracks in the wall for merging. Well, bright side, we got 53 rupees, I think. The 50 from the chest and then like three from killing them. So it's something. I'm not, I'm not against that. I'll take money, you know? Okay. But yeah, at this point, my plan is really just to head back to my house. Check to see if Ravio has anything else to say, if not just anything straight up to give me. What was that? Okay. That was a weird sound I made. And, oh, I really want to get that! Oh well. But yeah, so that's the plan. Stop it. So let's head back. We're heading back straight away, right now. No more diversions. We're just gonna get there and be done with it. We're almost there, actually. Right? Oh wait, no. It was right up here. I was thinking it was one to the left, but that's a little different. Yo, Ravio, do you have anything that could help? Maybe. Hey, welcome back, little hero. Oh, thanks. You didn't talk to me, so I assume you don't have anything new. What happened, buddy? 
La 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 la. <laughs> My bracelet did what now? Huh, who knew? Pretty neat that you can turn into a painting. Wowie wow, I wish I was you. I wonder if I could steal that power from this weird yoga guy too. Maybe, but uh, you know, with great power. No, what am I thinking? I'm not cut out for that sort of stuff. I probably just screw it all up somehow and get stuck on some dungeon wall. I mean, probably. I couldn't bear it! Stuck there forever and ever? Yeah, right? Oh yeah, I should leave that kind of tough work to heroes for sure. Alright, I guess that was it. Unless it's gonna pull one of those bullcrap game things and make me talk to him twice. Hey, day, it's you! Oh no, still can't find him. You who golly, something around he must not be able to hear me. Oh, I hope he hasn't got himself lost in those woods down south. Guess where I'm going, guys. So I guess it was a good thing that I came back because even though Ravio didn't offer anything, it did trigger that little cutscene, so now I know. Hey, guess where I'm heading? Woods to the south. That's right. Alright, well I mean, now that I know, I'm just gonna do it. Dang it. These guys keep like doing a little bit of damage. Oh, is that little sound? Their feet? Like they're about to charge? That's cute. Cute little soldiers. You think you're so tough? Alright, well. We're about there. Just about there. Oh, hi! Have you seen Gully? I think he's playing around here somewhere. But I have the strangest feeling, like... Oh, I don't know. Call him Mother's Instinct. Just keep an eye out for my little guy, okay, Riz? I will, don't you worry, Mama Blacksmith. Alright. Uh... What is this? Is this just another area? Is there a Oh. Oh. Now, Riz! Yes, what is it? I found a thing! Have you seen Gully in here? No, wait, did you just find that pouch? Oh, my stars, Gully had that. Oh, oh no. I made it for you so you could carry more items, but he insisted on being the one who gave it to you. Oh, no. If you found it here, then where is my Gully? Oh, how awful. I don't know. I'd better tell my husband. I'm sure we can find him somehow. We have to. But please, you should use that pouch so I won't have to worry about you quite as much. Alright, I'll do it. You got the pouch! Now you can set items to X as well! Ah, handy. Alright, I'll do that then with this. Cool. So now Y is arrows, and X is to light a single thing on fire. I still wish that it would light like whole connected patches of grass on fire. That's so much cooler. Well, uh... Is this just an enclosed little space, or does this lead anywhere? On the map, it looks like it's enclosed. And from running around, also looks like that. That's a, that's a shame. Where's the, where's the forest to the south? I'm trying to find Gully here. Game's not wanting to make it easy. No, screw you and your little cute charge. All right. Now I can still find it. Is this the cuckoo place? Yes, yeah, the cuckoo place. I'm not gonna do it this time. I did it too much before. Like, we're good, we're good there. Um... Ready to rush? Oh, sorry. Actually, we're not open yet, you cute little thing, you. Mm-hmm, that's right. But don't you worry. Ruby Rush will be open quicker than two shakes of a cuckoo's tail feathers. Okay, you do that. Ah, still not open. That is one slow cuckoo. Or he has very large feathers, I don't know. Maybe it takes longer to shake large feathers. I've never had feathers, so I could not say from personal experience. Alright, we've got to find the stupid forest south. And I swear I've done it before, or seen it before, but maybe I'm thinking... No, I'm thinking of the forest of the north, I think. Eh. Well. How about I look around a little bit and get back to you guys once I actually find something. So, skip ahead. Well, there is this cave up here. It's not exactly a forest, but, uh, might be a thing. It's at least not blocked up by fire this time. I will soothe your wounds and provide comfort. Close your eyes and relax. I totally needed that. Thank you. Okay. I got, that was that was a waste. I, I had full health! Like, I didn't need that! Why is that even a thing when health is like so gosh darn prevalent in all this grass? That shouldn't be a thing unless they're gonna give me powers, which I was super hopeful for. 
You know, even if it was just kind of like in the Four Swords game where you met the fairy. I think it was at the fairies. And then you like threw your bow into the water and it's like, all right, cool. You got a super bow now. Like, that would be awesome to have that in here, but... Nope. Whoa, is there more today? Is this a thing? I don't know. Oh, he has a bow! He's probably better at it, or better with it than I am, too, so... I'm gonna try to, like, juke him out here. Done. I'm the best juker ever! I'm a juke... rocks hero. I don't know. Alright, well, I guess I'll skip ahead again. Uh, oh, hey, there's a witch. Is that all? Oh, alright. Whoa, hold up a second, Greeny. Okay, I'm here. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Someone else wearing the green hat? I don't know. I, m maybe. What's up, girl? Who am I? Haven't heard of me? I'm Irene, best witch of my generation. Still a junior witch, but whatever. Alright. Get this, I had my fortune told this morning, right? And I was told I'd soon be visited by disaster. DISASTER! Oh no, but if I want to change my future, I should take care of green. I was like, GREEN?! What, I should take care of the grass? I'm not mowing every lawn in Hyrule. Forget that, I'm a witch on the rise! And then you came along, and then it all made sense. I've got to take care of you, Greeny. Like, I, I'm, I'm... Yes, that is what that fortune meant! So here, take this thing. Okay? You got the bell! Now you can call Irene anytime. Alright, what does it do? Been seeing those weather vanes all er, been seeing those weather vanes all over the place? Just ring that bell and I'll fly you to any ones you found. Yes, that's good. That is I was right, teleportation basically. Normally I don't take passengers, but I'd rather haul you all over High World and face disaster, fair. Anyway, gotta fly. I have errands to run for my gram. Later. Bye, Irene. Oh, right. One more thing. My Graham's a world-class potion brewer. Her shop is behind the Eastern Palace. I knew that already. I'd strongly suggest you go look, for her, look her up. Her potions can't be beat. See? I'm looking out for you already, Greeny. I do appreciate it. Well, if you couldn't tell, I decided that I would head up north toward the Gale place anyway. Um, did I already activate this? I did, so I'll just say. Oh, because this is Sanctuary, huh? Yeah. Anyway, since I wasn't able to find Gully, no. Not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep playing. I'll do what I want, game. Anyway, uh, I wasn't able to find Gully in that time. I talked to his dad, and his dad's like, yeah, he's probably playing with critters. Um, and the only place where I've actually noticed, like, animals, aside from Kakus, is the place where we got the pouch. But I, I went back there again, before the blacksmith bit. And, uh... I didn't notice anything different, so I am not sure. Wait, where can I merge? Nope, can't go. Okay. So, I'm going to check up here first and see if I can't find a way to the whole Gale bit. And if I can't, then I'll go try to look for Gully again. Because honestly, I do think that the Gully bit is what I should be doing next. I've just had trouble finding it. So, I'm looking elsewhere really quick. So, here are the animals. I was thinking maybe I could follow them and they would kind of lead me to him. But they're all just going away from me in whatever direction they can, you know? So... I don't understand what that might mean. It's just they're avoiding me. That's just all it is. It's just... Hey, you're not gully. We're gonna get the... I don't know. We're getting away. So... Whatever idea I might have had of like, yeah, I'll go in, I'll see where they're going, there must be a secret spot between the trees or something, that idea is kind of out the window. It's a little bit of a bummer, to be honest, because I'm like, ah, it's another kind of clever thing, and then it's not, that's not the case. They just don't like me, and he's not there, I guess. Or maybe he is, and I'm missing him. How am I missing him? I've checked everywhere. I wanted to make it an even, like, 790. It was kind of bugging me at 8 and 9. So, uh... I don't know, I've talked to Goalie's mom again, and I've talked to Goalie's dad, and it's just like, they they don't have anything new to say. I'll go up again, I'll talk to him again so you guys can see. Because it's just like, there's nothing. At least there was nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll see if there's something this time. She just calls for him, where are you? Gotta be alright, he's got to be. So that's kind of to be expected, but then we go and talk to the blacksmith, let's see if he says the same kind of stuff. 
Uh, first, when I talked to him, he we had to explain, like, oh, yeah, we're tasked by Zelda to do this. And he's like, all right, don't worry about your blacksmith work. Just do what Zelda wants. But he says, yeah, do your duty for Zelda or princess. Um, the boy has always been a little different somehow. Animals love him to pieces. He must have gotten that from his mother. Critters run when I, or critters run when I come around. He didn't say that critters run part, but, or before. But yeah, so... Am I supposed to, like, disguise myself as goalie? But that would just make animals come to me. That wouldn't make them, like... That wouldn't bring me to goalie. I don't know. That's weird. Didn't read any of that. I'm worried about the boy. Hope he turns up soon. Yeah, me too. Me too. I just have no idea how exactly I'm supposed to find him. Because it seems like the blacksmith's making, you know, dropping all these hints about, you know, Goalie liking the animals and the animals liking him. And, uh, animals running away from him. Not Goalie, but the blacksmith. Uh, but yeah, they run away from me too. Even if I, like, tricked the animals into them thinking I was Goalie, that would not help me find Goalie. That would just make the animals like me more until they realize that I was betraying them. Then, you know, all sorts of backlash. But, where is bloody Goalie? Why would his pouch be there if he's not in that kind of area? But I haven't, I just haven't been able to see him. So, uh, I don't know. Good, thank you for the rupees. I guess I'll head back down again and uh, look super hard in that area. Maybe, I, maybe if I put on the glasses, I wasn't going to ever use the glasses because like, you need coins. And you only get those coins by, like, walking with the DS. And since it's my recording DS, I never take it anywhere. So I'm never going to get the coins. But maybe there's... That's, like, an additional thing they do. Maybe they have their own, like... I don't know, alternate properties as well. Yeah, just come fight me real quick. Do it. Okay, hey, that worked. Time to head back in then. Just bugger off. I'm not going to bother with you. So, yeah, animals running from me, as, you know, you'd expect. Put these on real quick. Hey, goalie, are you dead? Are you a go somewhere here? What if I walk? What if I'm gentle and I just walk around? Huh? Hey, little animals. It's just me. I just have, I have a sword, but look at me. I'm so calm and peaceful. Yeah. Well, there's a little animal. Hey, little guy. Oh, no. oh, I totally scared him. Maybe it's because I walked in the grass, though. Like, what if... Let's leave again, like, respawn the animals. And then we'll just walk in all gentle-like. Wait, no, squirrel, come back. What about you, bird? I'm not gonna walk in the grass. They just do it anyway. Okay, so there's nothing that I could see with these glasses. They run whether I'm... Or they fly, run, whatever. Whether I'm running or walking. Or hitting them with my sword. And Goalie is still nowhere to be found. I'm gonna bloody equip this again because the goggles seem worthless or glasses. Uh, where are you, Goalie? Where are you? I don't even care about you. I just want to move on. Oh, hey, look. I tried attacking him and it didn't work, so I talked to him and I'm, um, I'm a monster whisperer. The bridge is broken. Some guy just dashed by and jumped it, though. Me. I can never do that. Oh, okay. I thought he was saying me. I did that. No. I suppose there's nothing to do but swim to Zoro's domain. Oh, what did you say? You can't swim? Hey, just like me. We're like brothers, swim this friend. And you know what? We both can't get to Zoro's domain either. Oh, yeah, that's a... That's a bummer. You were a total help. Like, I thought he was gonna give me an item or something that would do it. Come on, do you have anything else to say, actually? If only we had some kind of a... What's it called? A special ability? Uh, it wouldn't matter that we can't swim. Oh! Oh... Special ability. <laughs> hey, I did it! What a special ability! That's about as special as they come. Ah, oh, look at me. Look at me being... Yeah, I gave up on goalie. Screw him. He could be gone forever. I don't care. Stop being all tri... Stop it! Maybe this guy actually is not supposed to be hit by arrows, and that's why he's intentionally difficult. I don't know. Thank you for the heart. Well, yeah, but I think that we're actually making our way now to... One of them. They're going to Zoro's domain, apparently. I just don't know which that is. I would assume Hera. But, could be wrong. Anyway, I'm just happy that we're finally making progress again. Because uh, we were stuck for quite a while. This way to Zoro's domain. We're heading straight up this way then. And it's going to be great. Doing what I think is the Gale thing. 
Because that's the only name I remember of that part. Alright, good. Ow. I didn't think I would land right on him. If only that used, like, Mario physics there. Or just smash him, you know? Deep water nearby. Stay in the shallows. Alright. Oh, but they're rupees. I'm not gonna let it trick me, though, you know? I'm not... I'm gonna... I'm gonna be good. Ow! Are you the dasher? Do you... Are you gonna give me speed boots? Shady Guy. That's his name. His name is Shady Guy. Yowch! Yeah, watch where you're going! Sorry. Wait a second. I've seen you. Aren't you that kid who was hanging out in the village? Well, whatever. I don't remember it. Yeah, but that was me. Out of my way! Okay. The queen! The queen! Please help! Somebody help! Ah, that sounds like a job for me! I'm a queen helper. I mean, not, you know, just a queen helper, but... Actually, I don't know if I want to help her anymore. The queen is in a sea of trouble! We've got to do something! But what? That guy doesn't even know all the trouble he just caused! Really, the listening to her? Like, I don't want to help someone whiny like that! It's getting worse by the second! I can't believe that guy came in and stole the smooth gem right out from under our gills! Oh, smooth jam, I see. That finless jerk probably thought it was just some sparkly thing, but the queen needs it to contain her power! Oh, without that smooth jam, our queen will keep... Keep what? Eating? Growing? Oh. Huh. She'll keep bloating up! That's not great. But our poor queen... We've got to get that smooth gem back, or else! Alright, should I talk? Get me! Get me out of here! She's just plain stuck until we get her smooth gem back somehow. Our poor queen. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go do that. I, I assume that they're done, right? You must have seen that guy run out with queen smooth gem, right? We've got to get it back. Stranger, if you see a big, gleaming, golden gemstone, bring it back here. I'm sure you'd get a nice reward. Cool. What about you? Please, Stranger, can you get the Queen Smooth Gem back? I can try. We've got to get it back in her pool before all is lost. Alright. Let's go look for the dude. If we can just get that gem, it'll be some kind of progress. I don't know how, exactly. Like, what sort of progress, but definitely something. Okay, so I think though that I'm just heading, I think I'm just heading all the way back to, you know, where I like, you know, walled myself, got over. Ow. I don't even know if I'm going, oh, I am going the right way, look at me. Look, I did it. And he's gone. So that means that the dude could just be anywhere though, like, okay, there was a place I think over here that I didn't check. So I'm hoping he's, like, kind of restricted to this area, because otherwise, again, yeah, that could just be... Oh, no, I think this was a place that I didn't check. And it's just a pit. Dang it, at least I got more monster guts, whatever that's about. Total of five, I'll take it. I'm just confused as to what it is. Ugh. Ugh, I say. I don't like how open-ended this part is right now. Okay, well, we'll... Try to find it, you know? Do our best. Do our gosh darndest. Uh, in the meantime, I guess I'll save. Because I might as well. I am going to keep playing a little bit longer at least, so... There's that. Not that it matters for you guys, because, you know, videos are going to be about the same length anyway, regardless of what I do. Let's see. Let's see you're dead. Um, I know which girl told me to drop by the potion shop, but I think that was just so I knew that a potion shop was there. I don't think it's actually relevant to the story, at least at this point in time. So I'm not going to bother with it. We're just gonna... We're just gonna be looking for the one dude. Just gonna see. I can't... Okay, no, I can't. What? Ow! Why do some Zora attack me? I don't know why some of them are just inherently violent. That's stupid. Alright, you know, I'm trying to do your queen a big favor. Yeah, shoot a ball of fire at me, why don't you? Just because you happen to be swimming and I'm standing there. Jerk. Th I mean, like, granted, I did try to kill one of them. But that was because I knew that I'd been attacked by one in the past. So, like, it was all their fault to begin with. Anyway. We will just keep destroying things along our way in the innocent nature 
that we, you know, tend to do things. And, uh... Maybe I'll find him? Like, he knew about the village. Do I go back to the village? You know, sure, let's go back to the village. We'll just use this. Look, we're going to my house! Oh, wait, yes. Oh, I don't need to say, okay. Maybe he'll be around here somewhere. You don't know, or you might know. I don't know. I definitely don't know. <sighs> it's just, yeah. Like, this map isn't huge. I'll give it that. It's not a huge map. However, when they don't give me any sort of, like, try this area, then it's like, okay, well, I can go around this huge square. Thankfully, we can, we have that teleporting now, which is really helpful, yeah, but it's still not, it's still not everything. Like, we still have to walk around a ton. And I know I basically just left the village, but I'm wondering, like, what if I just kind of get to the place where uh, we would meet him if I had walked all the way back, you know? That was my kind of thinking, but it doesn't seem like he's anywhere here. At least not that a cutscene's revealing. Like, obviously I didn't check out every bit, but yeah. All right, from here, I'll just go back to the village, like actually go back to the village this time. And hopefully find him somewhere. Otherwise, this could take a while. And because it could take a while, because he very well might not be back at the village. Let's check up here real quick too, because why not? Uh, we will skip ahead until I find something, anything. Wow, hey, all the animals are gone. They've been replaced by these dudes. I'm going to assume, yeah, Goalie is not here. All right, skip ahead. Hey guys, look, I got a shield for 50 rupees. I have a shield. Yeah, so press and hold R to raise it. Pretty simple. Anyway, uh, I will check what these other items are really quick. So I have this now, that's cool. What is this? It is a uh, foul fruit. Oh. Uh, I don't want it. It just says you can squeal so loud, you stun your enemies, but I just don't care for that. And what is this? Just see, a scoot fruit. Hmm. It takes you to a dungeon's entrance. That actually could be useful, but for the cost of a shield, I'll just not. Well, that was all. Go away. Actually, look, there's a street merchant right here. Good news! I have some new stock that may interest you. Please come take a look. Alright, I will. Have you seen this rare stone? Smoother than silk! Go on, feel it! Just touching such a treasure will make your skin happy all over. Uh-huh. Yeah, this looks promising. <laughs> smooth gem! Hmm, it's not like we're looking for that. This beautifully polished gemstone is eerily smooth. Ah, yes, a gemstone of remarkable quality. Smooth as silk. And for you, only 200 rupees. Yes. You got the smooth gem. It's so irresistibly smooth. Thank you. Come back soon. I also want this bottle. That's a bottle. Useful for storing a bunch of things. How about 100 rupees for it? Yes. Cool. And is that just, like, actually a single heart to heal? Uh, restores one heart. Uh, no, I'm good. But thank you. Alright, so I didn't find the criminal, but, uh... I got the gem. Are you guys worth talking to? Hey, Papa, can you take me somewhere fun? All right, then. But with that quake to shake and everything up, is it safe to be outside? Well, you are outside, sir. You should have thought of that a long time ago. All right, well, uh... Where am I going again? Can I bell from here? So I want to go all the way over to, yeah, which is house. Yeah, because then you go along the wall. Go cool, though. Look at that! We, I figured that out, like, just by stumbling upon it. I totally thought I would find the shady dude, or shady guy, whatever his name was. Shady something, not Slim Shady. Um, but that wasn't the case. But hey, as long as we found the street vendor, like, sure, we had to spend 200 rupees for it. Ow! But that's okay, I will spend 200 rupees if it means I gotta make progress. Ow. Besides, you know, like, if I keep having to do that sort of thing, yes, I will lose money in the end. I mean, like, that's just guaranteed. But for now, I have a fair bit of money. Like, I had 800 um, that I just wasn't really using, so I'm kind of fine with it. All right, and now that we're here, let's see what reward we get. I am looking forward to it. Here you are. Wait, stranger, do you have the Queen Smooth Gem? I do indeed. Throw it in the pool, hurry! Do you want to throw the smooth gem into the pool? 
Don't th yes, of course, throw it. <clears throat> What's wrong? I was gonna say, are you tiny now? Yeah, you're, you're pretty small. No. Ah! The queen! Yay, she's better. The bloating has stopped. Okay, she bloated very quickly. Because if the shady guy grabbed the gem and then booked it, and she was that size to begin with, she, you know, when we got it, she was already huge. So, that's very dangerous, but she clearly didn't, like, keep growing since we, you know, took all that time to go get some gems. So, uh, I don't know if there are actually rules behind that bit of magic or if it's just, hey, look, magic. There are no rules. It's just magic, whatever. Are you the one who helped me? Yes. Yes, I am. Thanks to you, I'm free of my pool. That was all rather undignified. Yes, it was. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Orin, Queen of the Zoras. Well, pleasure, you know? I don't know how I came to rely on that troublesome smooth gem, but I do need it, so I thank you deeply. Wait, you don't even know? You just started bloating one day and you're like, Oh, this rock should help! I don't know. I am filled with gratitude. Please take these, won't you? Oh, I will. What are they? I'll take, like, whatever. You got Zora's flippers. Time to jump in with both feet. Press A to dive and press B to swim faster. Sweet, I can, I can swim now. They will allow you to swim and dive, so you may travel the rivers and roam the lakes. But my Zoras do consider that their territory, and while I tell them to get along with people, I have to admit, they just don't listen. I'm a terrible queen, so be careful out there. Wait. They just don't listen. That's just her saying, like, I oh, tell them not to. Whatever, you know. They're <laughs> free to do as they wish. Cue outro, go!